Island is part of the Climate Gathering Network and you have um, the Climate Gathering as part of your organisation uh, for this particular Earth Gathering, the Climate Gathering. Uh, we are a sort of network but we also do specific events and we've, we've uh, come together with uh, the Earth Institute for this particular event. We try to communicate the urgency of doing something, of taking action on climate change because there are a lot of, is a lot of research as we saw this morning, the scientists have a consensus on it but it's not reaching the people and they're not realising that uh, there is a real need for them each to take action as individuals but also together as, as a collective uh, and unless politicians get that feedback from people they will not really be able to act they will act to a certain extent but unless we get that critical mass of people behind um, climate change and when they see something like the typhoon in the philippines and they make the connection that the, the you know the the warm ocean is increasing the intensity of those events then it sort of clicks with people that the, the things that they do in their life have an effect that can create death and destruction elsewhere. We need that message to get across. Absolutely. Well, we had our first climate gathering in the Burren in February, and we were brought together Europeans um, and Americans in Ireland, which is sort of us here in the, in the Atlantic, uh, because we feel that we're a great uh, place for them to meet and begin to understand each other, specifically around climate change, where they have different policies and different, well, the same objective, but you know, different ways of getting to it. Uh, and I suppose one of the conclusions we made there in the Burren was that the energy and um, commitment and can do ness of the Americans is not an optional extra in the fight to um, reduce mitigate climate change we have to have the Americans on board and I think the Irish are crucial in getting that message across not just to their governments because I think the governments have got the message but to the people well I think um, that uh, I was very impressed by Dr Kerry Ann Jones this morning and she specifically mentioned education uh, education is vital but it is it is it is a long term I mean, the whole education for science is very necessary for all of us. But if we were to just understand the world that we, we all live in and interact with, it's going to take some time, and we don't have time with climate change. So on the one hand, it is vital and important. On the other hand, there's a lot of science that could be communicated quite simply um, just at this moment in time and we had superb communicators there for the first first session this morning uh, we had uh, uh, Dr Carrie Ann Jones as well and Dr McElwain as well and uh, I thought they were both terrific well today's world in a nutshell is interrelated everything is globalized we we see uh, what has happened on the other side of the world we take our food from the other side of the world very often. Interconnection and how we can make that work better for sustainability and a good future for us all on this planet. I still have hope, but uh, there's many desperate things that we need to do to make that happen. I suppose um, Dr. Jones, Dr. Kerry Ann Jones this morning, um, she said there isn't one solution but she did put energy efficiency very very highly renewable energies uh, dr McElwain said energy efficiency and i think that, that the um, energy use is key i was an anti-nuclear campaigner and i remember talking to the finnish ombudsman um, the european ombudsman who is finnish and he said you know my children are against nuclear power but they consume masses of energy my grandmother uh, was for nuclear power and she was very careful to conserve energy. We have to get across to our young people that what they do, how they consume energy, really matters. I actually saw the tap running in the ladies' loo today and I've said several times and people are trying to get the plumbers along. It is a crucial thing that those things don't happen and if they do happen, they're dealt with quickly. 
Well, um, I think once the, I, I think the scientists always think that if they pre present the evidence, that um, behaviour will change. Uh, politicians, which I was for a while, I was a Green politician, know that um, politics is the art of the possible and if you are to change people's behaviour, you must engage them at a heart level. So uh, it is so crucial that um, people know that emotionally it matters, that there are consequences for their own children as well as other people's children. We need to engage that huge energy of the heart and not just the reason. Well, what I think is so important is energy conservation. I think that's absolutely crucial. It's actually very simple in many ways. It's, it's something that people can do in their own homes. I have a very well insulated home. It's very energy efficient, but my neighbours don't and they freeze when I'm perfectly comfortable. Uh, and it's going to get worse. Energy is going to get um, much more expensive. People are already experiencing that and they need to reduce their costs and the consequences in one fell swoop by energy uh, proofing their home.